Well, of course, the greatest tragedy of this whole episode is, obviously, Montalbano never got a chance to taste that fish soup that he said must be a masterpiece. Okay, that's a little flippant when people get killed uh, in their devastating personal tragedies. And for a fan, hey, is Fazio dead? Well, you can start playing guessing games with, hmm, well, gee, did they, they can't write him out, and so forth, and guessing games. And, uh, is this series, which is so predominantly comic, capable of taking on something that drastic? Well, if you look back at a lot of episodes, of course it is. Because while it is, there's a comic tone to Montalbano, there's great tragedy, there's brutality, and there's... Shocking conclusions. Um, so yes, and of course, I don't know about you, that first corpse that came out, I, nobody seemed to doubt it, but to me it looked a lot like Fazio. Uh, and I was wondering. Um, that said, well, talk about wondering. There's something about the suspense that's generated if you think, oh God, could this go wrong? Oh God, that would be distasteful. Oh no, he can't do that. As in, is Montalbano going to get it on with the nurse? We must also give credit to a wonderful supporting uh, 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 performance by Elenia Maccarone. No, not Macaroni, Maccarone. Uh, spelled close, but not the same. Uh, she doesn't seem to have a long list of credits, but then Look at all the fabulous cameos and people who don't have long lists of credits who give outstanding performances. And yes, I've seen all the Montalbanos, obviously. I was wondering, is he? No, that would be wrong. Of course, he never was because he's had it figured out from the beginning. And wasn't it beautiful the way he... Uh, gave her chapter and verse as to why he knew from the beginning. And uh, you're just watching it. I had the liberty of going back and checking myself. So that the first time she ushers him to Fazio's room, and it's a double twist to it, is she says, well, here's his room, goes off, and he starts to go, and then he looks back at her and goes into the room. Now, with Montalbano's track record, we might be saying, well, attractive nurse, he wants to take one more look at her. Except it's, Wait a minute, how did she know to take me to Fazio's room? In retrospect, you can just see it right there. If, of course, you go backwards. And with great mysteries, well, Wilkie Collins, author of uh, The Moonstone and the Woman in White, would actually write it forward and then go backwards and make everything, check, uh, everything checked out. Uh, he would write his novels backwards and forwards. And uh, here, well, I got a few questions. So... Why wasn't Fazio armed in the first place? Um, how does Montalbano know that it's a note from um, a cross-dresser? Does he call it? A, does Mimi call it a transsexual? I just don't see how he. Is there a line that I, I went back? I looked. I'm not sure. And then he finds that confession much too easily. Uh, obviously. In the book, maybe a line would explain it, or usually the director's touch and the writer's is so sure on this. Hey, it's still a terrific episode, but particularly with that relationship with the nurse. And we're on tenter hooks of Fazio. Eh, but at this high level, well, I think you ought to hold them to these points. So, hey, it's still, it's still Montabata. Well, I'll see you next time to introduce another episode in this series.